Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 7 of Darwell20's Ocean Block Let's Play series, where today, going on an adventure, me and Little Dyer. Uh, wearing an Aeternium helmet and Mana Steel Chestplate that I got as quest rewards. I uh, decided to put on some steel leggings and boots, which I made. Uh, I've got myself a manual and pickaxe, I've got myself a nice sword. Don't really have any ranged weaponry, but that's okay. Uh, you know, got some, you know, ish shovel and axe equivalent tools. Ish. Might as well repair them, just so that we're, like, you know, good to go here. And that should be cool. Maybe I should bring an extra stack or two of cobble, just to be safe. Right? Uh, and we're going to go exploring this beautiful world that we see ourselves on. I think one of my first destinations is going to be that structure, just to kind of see, like, what that's all about. Because I have no idea, right? No idea what I'm in for with that dude. So let's, uh do the thing right um it's not a long distance either so like you know right around the corner and what's cool is this like warped nether warped stuff it is warped warp blocks sweet okay cool do you like do something or no not really you can be used to crimed mycelial generator Really? Okay. That's cool. You can also turn into biofuel. I mean, that's neat. That's kind of cool. And we could use it for power in a biogenerator, maybe? Or PRC it into ethylene? I mean, there's a lot of it here, so I'm just saying. I mean, not usually with biofuel you want to do things that are like, you know, automatable. Oh, hello. Now, do you think purple barrels are in some way, shape, or form better than other barrels? Oh, well, I mean, I got a diamond Paxel and diamond horse armor, so that's, you know, I wouldn't say for sure, but anecdotally, after the very first one ever that I broke, I would say it's pretty good, right? I wonder if there's, like, hidden chests and stuff in here, too, because, like, obviously there's going to be this stuff. Oh, hello, chainmail helmet. Crimson Blinds from Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. That really does look like blinds. Holy cow. And you can right-click them. That is the best. And they let through more light when they're... That is cool. I have not seen that before. How great is that? All right. Hey, a standard O2 tank. That is nice. And a sea pickle. Not as exciting, but still cool. And there's prismarine here, in case I ever need some of that. Can that be, like, it kind of can-ish? Uh, it can stone cut into it. You can multi-servo press it into prismarine shards, uh, is what you can do. Or you can uh, earth charge. So thermal allows you to convert. Cool. Okay. Okay. Not too shabby. There's no mobs in this thing, though, which is kind of interesting. I expected this to be, like, the kind of tower you would need to... Fight your way through, if you know what I mean. I, I assumed this would be a fight your way up to the top kind of tower, and it's definitely not. And it's definitely not. And before you accuse me of being on peace or something, I'm definitely on difficulty hard. So, yeah, it's not, it's not like I'm, you know, cheesing it or nothing. I got a straw. The one who codes. The one who codes. The one who codes. The one who codes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool. No idea. Not sure I entirely get the reference, but still. Neat. So, lots of barrels in here, obviously. Uh, some cool stuff, but nothing, like, extremely exciting. Uh, nothing extremely exciting. Now, there is a trap door here as part of the... But it looks to me, and now that I'm looking at it, I wonder if that if that oxygen bar is also reminiscent of Subnautica. Because I'm definitely getting a Subnautica vibe. Just a smidge. Did I ever waypoint my base? I should probably waypoint my base. Just, just, just cause, just before I, you know, before I forget. 
Um, can I not be in the boat to open up journey map? Uh, maybe? Is journey map not in the pack? There's FTB chunks map. Is there no journey map? I guess not. So I guess that would be you. Add waypoint home. Uh, and I'm going to hide you for the time being because I don't want you to show up on my map all the time. Now, also, before we go, is there a sleeping bag? There is a pillow of secrets. No need to sleep. No more phantoms. Ooh, yeah. Give me. Give me one of them. Uh, but no sleeping bag. No sleeping bag, which is a little bit of a bummer. So I don't want to bring a bed with me. We'll figure it out. So off on another adventure. Now, I'm going to stop at a few of these little dudes of these little uh these little boats but i'm probably not going to stop at every single one i see unless i feel like there's an incentive to do so break a crate quest complete wooden spikes okay well, i got some compressed sand and an enchanted golden apple so that's cool uh, I'm gonna hold off on handing in any of those quests until we get back, right? Just for, uh, just for inventory reasons. I was like, what is that dude? And it's just a slime with a hat. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Slime with hat for the win. Okay. Now I'm suspecting there's probably a lot of see look there's a lot of structures under there. I feel like I feel like there's more structures under the ocean than above the ocean. Or at least larger ones. Because above the ocean there's a lot of these barrels and whatnot, right? In these little in these little individual locations. But under the ocean looks like looks like a lot more cool stuff. So ideally in today's episode, uh, I'm gonna look around a little bit more above the water but ideally in today's episode i would love it if i could make it underwater with my o2 tank and see what i can see under the sea yeah <laughs> see what i did there see <laughs> all right i'm done i'm gonna stop now uh any other cool things out on the ocean here is a good question uh lots and lots of these like little little ships like little rafts and whatnot uh lots of tinkers islands thus far but there's one like right next to my base that i can go harvest for things so what i'm gonna do is kind of make a loop around uh and see uh is there anything else cool although there's a there's something goldish over there i wonder if i wonder if this gold barrel has better things in it than because i mean it stands out right it should if it doesn't it should Note, mod pack makers, if this golden barrel doesn't have some epic loots in it, I'm going to be sad. Well, mending and projectile protection four. Not bad. Which reminds me, is apotheosis in the pack? It doesn't look like it is. Okay. But mending is cool. Mending's a nice one to have. Oh, look at the map. Look at the map. Look at the map on the top right. See it up there? See it? Is that, uh, that's something big underground. I can't tell if that's a, uh, like a guardian temple thing or not. But definitely something big under, under the water there. Definitely something huge. Some cool stuff. Some, you know, not particularly exciting but not terrible stuff. Let's see, where are we at map-wise? So this is, that's actually very much like the thing near my base. They look identical, actually, if you're looking at them on the map. Rotated, but identical. What is this, like, big black thing? Because it's, like, a pretty large area that's all darkened up. Now that's another one of those barrels kind of cool looking purple barrel oh the end for dummies from better end forge nice so i'm like literally inside one of those black areas right now and i don't know what that means maybe there's something cool under the water there 
Nothing really, right? Is it just a map bug? Is it just the map is a little bit buggy? I don't know. Uh, but let's head northeast. I think on the other side of this slime island is where I will find my vase. What was that noise? Did you guys hear that? You think it was the squids? Mm -hmm. Beats me. Break a green barrel. That was a quest. That might be another obsidian boat. If my, uh, yeah, two of them I got. Sweet. Okay. Oh, and some compressed cobble. So there's the first island I explored. There's my home base on the uh, other side of that slime island. I just want to, I kind of want to circle around for some low-hanging fruit, if you know what I mean. Like, stuff that's near my base. And see what else there is to see on these open waters. But I feel like under the ocean is going to be a bigger deal pretty soon. Because there's another, there's another structure right here. There's a structure here. There's a structure here. This looks similar to this, but rotated maybe? A bit? Is it a baseball field? Looks like a baseball field. That's what it looks like to me at least. There's something over here. This is a earth slime grass. So I'm going to assume that means that what that is is another slime island. So there's not as much above the water as I thought there would be, but there's definitely some stuff because we ran into that big island here, right? So there's some stuff above the water, just not as much as I thought there might be. Or maybe my, you know, RNG is just, you know, sad again. All right, what I'm going to do is circle back. I'm going to head... So this looks like... Here's another one of those... Here's another one of those. Let's head for that. Yeah? And then we'll head back to our main base. I will meet you guys. I'll come back in a second once I land. Cool? All right, here we are. Whee! Let's see what we got in this place. So I'm assuming this is basically an identical structure to the one we just went through. But there might be ooh, pulsating crate. That's cool. Had a bunch of crying obsidian in it. Sweet. Doesn't hurt to snag a cauldron, by the way. Uh, some stone. Okay. Not what I'd call particularly exciting, but... I think that was some seaweed, maybe? Dried kelp blocks. Nice, okay. And some compressed gravel and cobble. Oh, hey, more stuff that I missed. Would like a sleeping bag at this point, but meh. So the barrels are just a bunch of random junk. Is what I'm is 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 what I'm gathering. A bunch of random junk. Now some of that might fit. Nope. I wasn't sure if there was anything that could stack it up. Now I didn't find anything on top of this structure last time I uh, did anything here, so I'm just gonna whoosh right into the water. Okay. Uh, I think that's. That's good. So what I'm going to do is head south. Due south, which is literally this direction. And what I'd like to do now is get back to our base, spend a few minutes crafting a scuba suit, and see what I can see by way of how that works. Because I definitely want to try that out, right? I think that would be neat. And we didn't encounter any monsters. Like, I expected to be on... Like, I spent a whole episode making an awesome sword thinking I'd be encountering monsters in those two structures, and I totally didn't. But maybe at some point I will. I also hope that I swim faster with the scuba suit. I mean, I've got it, right? I would hope. We'll find out. Uh, so first things first. I feel like I should get, like, a, a nice... I guess I should sort my inventory-ish. Chiseled quartz blocks, huh? Okay. I'm going to put all the blocks away. I'm going to organize off camera and be right back. 
All right, so the good news is we already have a standard O2 tank. Zero seconds of oxygen is what it says in my uh, in my inventory here. So also, let's check out what we get for some of these random rewards. I'm just gonna grab them all and see what I can what I can see. All right, because my inventory is nice and empty now. Is that everything? I also from Misk got some wooden spikes, and that looks cool. Okay, cool. What I get? Anything? Anything particularly good? An absorption hopper, common shader grab bag, manual and pickaxe head. Meh. Mob fan. I mean, I'll put that in my in this tier four storage module is also kind of cool. And skeleton seeds. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'm just gonna hang on to most of this junk because why not? All right, uh, so in order to make diving gear, we needed an O2 tank, zero seconds of oxygen. I don't know how to fill them with oxygen, but we'll figure it out. But I would like also a diving mask, a wetsuit leggings, the first tier of them, right? There's improved and then there's reinforced. So improved needs lead and silver, plus 30% mining speed, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and this one is reinforced, so that needs diamonds and whatnot, so I'm obviously not going to do them too much. Fins is a plus 16% swim speed. Ultra glide fins, probably want that because it's only lead and silver. So that doesn't seem like a hard upgrade, right? Um, and then what does the diving mask get me? Max diving depth? The rebreather looks pretty cheap as well. It's really just lead and silver for the upgrades. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I've been processing any and all lead and silver that I've gotten. Would be cool. And how are you doing, buddy? Pretty foolish. I'll deal with it in a minute. Uh, silver. And then how... Did I process my lead already? I may have already processed my lead. Boy, do we have a lot of junk, though. Cool. So split off. So I can do that. And then split back on. It'll do your thing. Cool. And then you go in here for now, just to fill that back up. Beautiful. So let's get to crafting. So one of the things we're going to need is titanium. The other thing we're going to need is fiber mesh, which requires kelp. So we're going to need some kelp. And I don't think we have kelp. We have some dried kelp blocks, but we also want these titanium chunks. Do I have... Uh, I do have a, a stackish of uh, titanium, which is cool. So let's put you back in here. That'll be two stacks. Let's get you guys cooking right away so that we can uh, immediately start processing this. So if I did that, you'd be good. Nice. All right, so that'll start making the titanium very quickly, hopefully. Um, kelp, 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 kelp. I don't think we've, I mean, obviously I'm ocean water. Just wanna make sure there's none in my inventory already somewhere before I go diving without a wetsuit because that's legitimately what I'm about to go do. Uh, we do have dried kelp, which can turn into dry kelp. Can you turn it back into regular kelp? I'm just curious, I don't. I guess not. Okay, fair enough. So what we want to do... So my problem is, is I don't know that I can get that deep underwater. Right? Because look how deep... I can't get down that far to get the kelp. Right? Or am I crazy? Is there a trick to getting kelp? Uh, item Recycler will get me some kelp. Botany plot, pant, Pots can get me kelp, which is just terracotta and flower. So I could do that. Um, what's the growth time on it? Is it going to tell me? 50 seconds? Okay, and Phytogenic Insulator. So it doesn't look like there's a sneaky way, short of doing Nature Essence and all that stuff, uh, to get kelp. And my concern is, like, look how deep that water is. There's no way I'm going to get to the bottom and get back up. Now, if I were to equip you... What's, what's your, how, zero seconds of oxygen. I agree. So how do I get you filled up with oxygen? Is there like a trick? High capacity O2 tank. Yeah, I want that. I want, I want whatever that is. But how does one fill it up? How does one fill it up with oxygen? Do I like right click it or something? Nope, right clicking equips it. Does this diving mod have any kind of book? Uh, no. All right, Googling. Yeah, for the record, I can't even make it to the bottom of my island before I run out of air. So, like, diving to the bottom of the ocean is not a way to get kelp right now. Is there another way? He asked himself. Hmm. 
I can't figure out how to replenish this oxygen, but I'm assuming maybe you need the full scuba suit before the oxygen starts filling up. I'm going to go with that. And then if that's not the case, we'll figure it out from there. But yeah, I need to find kelp. And that is apparently harder than I thought it would be. Let me go... I mean, we've, we broke a lot of barrels, so like it's not like it should be barrel dependent. Because while we found some kelp that way, we didn't find much. Let's look inside one of these structures. I wasn't looking carefully for kelp. Maybe there'll be some. Mm. I'm just going to peek in here. Because I remember there was like a fish tanky type thing. Is this kelp by chance? There's seagrass there. Oh, water logging. Yeah, I don't think either of those were kelp, right? They were seagrass. Yeah, so that doesn't help. Hmm. And these things are sea pickles. Yeah, no way that I'll be able to get down to the bottom of the ground. Thinking. So the other interesting thing here is that kelp doesn't spawn in warm ocean biomes. So what I think I'm going to do, according to the Googles, by the way, I Googled that, uh, I'm going to head out basically to a lukewarm ocean, maybe, right? So kelp naturally generates in any ocean biomes except in frozen, deep frozen, warm, and deep warm. Now we're currently in warm, which means no kelp, but we are now in lukewarm, which maybe means kelp? And I wonder if, like, Subnautica, the further you explore from your island, like, the better. Like, that might be kelp right there. Is that kelp? Kind of looks like kelp. My only problem, of course, being that it's still really deep. It's still really deep. I wonder if I can survive the dive. What do you think? Like, A, it's really hard to see, and B, it's really deep. Like, I really don't think I can survive that, right? I couldn't possibly. There's no way. There's no way that I'm going to survive that, right? So if this pack was loosely based on Subnautica, which I'm not saying it is, obviously, but, like, there's Subnautica-style concepts in it. Do you think exploring further away from my base will lead to cooler stuff? Oh. I'm going to look around a little bit and see what I can't find of interest, and we'll be right back. So on the map up here, I see this big sphere. I wonder if that's like, can I make it? I can't even tell if there's kelp on it, and I am definitely drowning. I am definitely. I'm gonna try, I mean, I've got the food. Maybe I can survive. Should we do it? Let's do it. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try. That's the only ex the only idea that I have. Kelp doesn't need shears, does it? Goodness, I hope not. Oh my goodness, he is drowning fast. Come on. Oh, I was so close! I was right there! Now I have a long course run to go. Well, you know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try seeing if uh, obsidian boats work. I've got enough of them. I can give it a shot. I was, I was, I was willing to take that risk. Is what it was. I was really. Did you really think that would work? Okay. <laughs> I kind of did. Oh my goodness, you sink fast. Holy cow, that is a sinking fast. That obsidian boat. I mean, that was a thing. <laughs> Today we learned. <laughs> Did you really think that would work? I mean, a little bit. <laughs> Look, the physics of Minecraft are not identical to the real world, mister. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So let me get some food, and I'm going to swim out there and be right back. All right, I'm very happy to report that it looks like it creates my gravestone where I died, not at the bottom of the ocean, because I was very concerned that all my stuff would be at the bottom of the ocean, and that would be 
unretrievable, right? So, yay for stuff existing again. That's cool. Um, you should really go in the belt slot. Okay, good. And then I'm going to put some junk away that I don't necessarily... I don't think I need you guys. Right? Uh, and everything else can kind of go away for a minute. Okay, that works. Anyway, let me go back to figuring out how to get kelp. What are the chances that I can make it to that structure? Mm. What I should do is bring the obsidian boat out here and make it sink me all the way down. But do we think we can make that? I mean, that's kelp, right? It is, but like, I, I can't even make it halfway there. What I'm gonna do is get myself just saturated enough. It's possible I can make this work? Because that's like the closest kelp I'm seeing. Right? Here goes nothing. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I don't care if I die. I've got kelp. I've got kelp on my corpse. I can make it back to that corpse. All right, I don't know how it's here, but there's there's kelp floating on the surface here. Well, that makes me suddenly feel like my efforts were in vain. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I was literally swimming out to, well, not swimming, rowing out to my corpse. Uh, and there's literally just kelp floating on the ocean there. Okay, I'll get it. I don't mind. Is that how you're supposed to get kelp? You're supposed to just, like, randomly find it floating on the surface? Because I'm highly suspect. Highly suspect. All right, so my corpse should be here-ish. I think I can make that, right? Oh no, this is going to be worse than I thought. No, that's not ideal. Ugh, rip. Rip Aroni. I made it, I made it, I made it, I made it. Just barely. Come on, we can get out of this. We can make it. Oh yes. Whew. Quite a few attempts, but we pulled it off. We pulled it off. All right, I would not recommend trying that. That is not the right way to do it. But, but, we did it. Just gonna remove all these death points. All right, back to the island. Huzzah. Huzzah. Drowned, 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 impaled by a drowned. All the deaths. So now, what I should be able to do, though, is take this kelp and grow it. Yes? So what I'd like to do is, do I have a bucket of some um, description. I'm going to put all this junk all up in here. I don't have any buckets left. Did I use them all? Nope, there's a couple. All right, cool. Sweet. All right, good. And then uh, I don't think I need any of these things. I'm just going to trash them, right? Boom, boom, boom. Making a mess. Now what I might do... Can I do something clever in here-ish? Right? That sound cool? Alright, so what I'm gonna do is something along the lines of this. You ready? I'm gonna do a... Should we make it a 2 by 2 That sounds cool, right? Yeah? And then what we're going to want to have is a nice little infinite water source. Mm, you know what I'm going to do? 
This should work. Cool. I might make this one layer deeper. So like put it here and here. Does that work? Yes. I'm going to drown in here, is what I'm going to do. Okay. And then just kelp it up. As soon as I can move again. <laughs> Slow to seven. Now, can I... Does that work? Because that would be cool if that worked. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Can you bone meal that stuff? Because that would be also cool. Right? That would be also cool. Because I'm pretty sure I have a healthy amount of bone meal. So tick accelerating doesn't seem to help it much. Age 15, age 13, age 18, age 22. Yeah, tick accelerating doesn't seem to do a whole lot. I'll take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drowning, drowning. I'm fine. So, does that work? I say yes. I say that is a successful mission accomplished. And we'll just leave the kelp farm here to grow naturally. And then I have, bone, I have bone meal if I need more. So I'm going to call that a win. And I'm also, because this was so annoying to get, throw a few in a chest just to be extra safe. So now we want to do this, right? So how many of these do I need? Uh, for, the, for the mask, we need three. For the fins, we need two. So that's five. And four is nine. Cool. So then we can get our fins which is gonna need that titanium stuff, right? So I want lead, titanium, and silver. So let me get fins and upgrade them to ultra glide fins, okay? Then I want wetsuit leggings and upgrade him to improved wetsuit leggings. And then I want the diving mask, which will be upgraded to the rebreather, which allows a max diving depth of 100 meters. So that's kind of neat. All right, you guys all go away now. Uh, inventory cleanup a go. Boy, do I have a lot of junk. I really should get around to sorting my inventory, but, you know. You know. So that should be cool now. Hey, look, my O2 went up. Nice. He's got an extra 30 seconds of oxygen. That's it. But I can upgrade you, can I? High capacity O2 is this. Reinforced O2 is that. So I'm thinking high capacity is what I want. And then from there, there's a standard suite of enchants, but nothing that looks like it's more oxygen. So let me actually get this. We're going to want the lead and the silver again. High capacity O2 tank. Ooh, now we're cooking significantly higher capacity. 120 seconds of oxygen. And I hope also that it lasts longer. Oh yeah, look at your O2. It doesn't drop three seconds at a time anymore. Well, it does, but like it only updates. Dude, this is cool now. Now, now, now we're cooking. Look at how long we can live underwater. That is amazing. Look at this. This is what's up now. What am I looking at here? Marble. Marble from chisel. Hey, chief. Ow. Are you holding a diamond for me? Probably not, right? No, I didn't think so. 
Dude, look how long this oxygen lasts. This is beautiful. This is cool. This is very Subnautica vibey. Oh, dude, there's mob spawners in there. That is cool. And there's uh, there's there's sugarcane in there too, by the way. By the way, it looks like there's a lot to explore under the water. I'm very excited to do that. Because there's like ravines. Look at this. Look at this. Now my O2 is going faster. I think I went too deep. Yeah, look at that. When you get low enough, your O2 drops a lot faster. Did you notice that? Did you notice that? Oh, and look, the bubbles, they go up really high. Magma pulls you down, right? Yeah, 100%. But soul sand pushes you up, is that accurate? I, th I think so. Now what should happen is I should surface, I should refill my O2, and then I should be able to go back down. And I would wager that this stuff is gonna be very useful. Right, wouldn't that be the bubble column thing? Super useful to have. This might be, oh, and bubble columns also fill up your oxygen. Well, would you look at that? Is that accurate? 162 becomes 165, nice. And hey, we wanted more obsidian, right? But yes, notice that you're absolutely, absolutely Sweet. So now if I go into this bubble column, can I fight? I can kind of fight it and it refills my oxygen a bit. That's neat. That is neat. Unsure if intended, but we'll happily take. We'll happily take. That is cool. That is super cool. Is that the entrance to that thing? Oh, I don't have to break the glass? I, there's actually an entrance? Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? I think we're getting close, though. Yeah, we're definitely at wrapping up point. So, exciting news. Uh, the scuba suit is super cool, super nice. Uh, would not recommend getting kelp the way I got it. I'm going to, like, literally ask around and figure out the way you're supposed to get kelp. Because I see nothing in JEI that says here's how you get kelp, right? I see nothing in JEI that shows like a good way to get kelp. Uh, short of mystical agriculture, which I don't assume you're supposed to get into before you can get the scuba suit. But the way I did it worked. I just wouldn't recommend it. Honestly, I really wouldn't. Uh, it worked, but boy, was it painful. Uh, it was very difficult to get your corpse back. And I don't, I can't imagine like the intention is that you die because like, people are going to want to play this pack on hardcore mode. So, like, yeah. I, I'm thinking that's that. Anyway, wrapping up point. Don't 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.